In this video you will learn about such artificial intelligence tool which is called Copilot. So what is Copilot at all? As you can see here I am inside github.com slash features slash copilot and here we have an additional github feature which allows the AI to help us while coding. And just at the beginning I must say that Copilot is not a free tool, it is paid and the subscription costs $10 per month. So when we are talking nowadays about AI tools, typically people mention just ChatGPT. And actually Copilot tool was released for individual developers in June 2022, which actually means it exists already more than half of a year. And the main point is that this is a niche product. And this is already a product which is being sold and a lot of people across the world are using it every single day. If we compare ChatGPT with Copilot, they are completely different. Inside ChatGPT, you simply type something inside chat and you are getting responses to any topic. Copilot is completely different. It is a niche product for programmers, which actually means we are writing code, as you can see here in the example, or comments, and then Copilot, using AI, tries to help us and generate some code that we can directly use which actually means it won't answer your questions, it won't help you at all, except like trying to suggest the best possible code for you. And the last thing that you must remember before we start coding, this is a proprietary tool, which actually means it is not open source, nobody knows what is inside, and if you are working for some company and have a legal contract, you must read your contract before you use Copilot. Why is that? Because you will send your code to GitHub. And yes, they are writing inside their FAQ that everything is private, but it doesn't matter. If your contract says that you can't publish any code to the internet, then you are violating the rules of your contract. This is why in lots of companies you simply can't use it if it is not approved by this company. With that being said, let's jump to the code. And actually here in one of the previous videos, we build a table inside React. So here we have things like header cell, header, content, search bar and users table. We are fetching some data from the API and we have some states. But here I don't want to talk about the code inside this table, I just want to try and write exactly the same code with the help of Copilot. So on the real example you can see how it works and where it shines. As you can see here, I already prepared an empty file userstable.gsx and here we already see Copilot inside my editor. So first of all here I have just an import of use effect and use state and import of all styles. I didn't type anything but I directly get from Copilot this const userstable and here is an empty function which actually means Copilot understands that our file is named userstable and this is a JSX format which actually means we are creating here userstable component. I can simply hit tab and I'm getting here nice autocomplete. As you can see here, after hitting enter, we are getting autocomplete from Copilot that we can just paste. And as you can see, Copilot suggests for us that we are creating a use state for our users, we are using use effect to fetch some users data from the placeholder, and here it can render for us the whole table with the body and render these users inside. Which actually means I can hit just tab and get all this stuff. And the question is from where Copilot got this code. Typically Copilot had the whole code from GitHub inside, which actually means all possible repositories which are public, or code from all people who wrote it previously. This is why it can help us tremendously. So here I find that it is much easier to just hit tab and change our code later. So we got here our use state, then use effect to fetch some data, and here is our table. Actually our API and data are a little bit different, so let's change them now. Here inside fetch we don't need to use JSON placeholder, we must use here our local API, which is localhost 3004 slash users. But actually this code with then and then is staying the same and we are filling here our users. Now I want to remove completely the whole markup inside our return because I want to put it in additional components. And additionally to that this class must be inside table. So here we will have class name and here users table. The next thing that we need to create here is our column. So here I will write const 
columns and here it tries to help us and provide id name email and phone these are not our columns so here we can just type them by ourselves it is an id the name and the last one is age and now inside our table i want to render an additional component which will be header and we're providing inside as you can see with the code of copilot columns columns and actually it makes a lot of sense because copilot understands we need columns to render all our header cells as you can see when i'm hitting enter after our const we're getting autocomplete of copilot export default users table and for sure we need that now here before our users table we must create header so here i'm typing const header and we're getting nice autocomplete from copilot with props columns this is exactly what we're getting now as you can see here inside copilot directly suggests for us some code and actually this code is completely valid this is exactly what we want we want to create a component with the head tr inside and we want to render our columns with map and inside we have our th which means this code is exactly what i wanted let's look in browser as you can see here is our table and we're getting here id name and age and the only thing that we're missing here is a class name to style it and it will be users table cell so now it is done completely correct now let's create an additional component with the content so here will be content and copilot suggests for us users users this is totally fine but additionally we must provide columns inside and it will be our columns now here let's jump to the top and try to create this content here is again we're getting autocomplete we're typing less and now inside copilot suggests for us exactly what we need I am just hitting tab and we're getting the whole markup. So here is our tab body, we're getting here users, we're mapping through every single user and we're rendering a row. And inside every single row we must render our TDs and we're rendering them by using columns. In this case we don't have code duplication. And it even applied for us correct class name user stable cell. As you can see in browser the code is already there and we successfully rendered our content. The next feature that we are implementing here is our sorting. So let's implement it now. We need sorting and we are getting autocomplete set sorting. And here is our use state. And actually by default we want to set our sorting for column which will be ID. And as you can see we are getting autocomplete direction ascending. This is exactly what I wanted. And now we must provide this sorting inside our header. So here we will have sorting sorting. Additionally to that we must create new function which will sort the whole table. So let's name it sort table. Here we are getting autocomplete and copilot suggest for us this is column to sort. It is not correct. We want to get here back new sorting. And inside this function copilot gets correctly. We need to set our new sorting with set sorting. And now we can provide this function sort table inside our header. So now let's jump to our header and add here first of all our sorting and secondly our sort table. But additionally to that we must write some logic regarding sorting inside every single cell. This is why I want to move it to additional component. Instead of th here we can just create header cell and as you can see we are getting autocomplete column sorting sort table. This is exactly what I wanted. Now here we can completely remove th, this is not valid anymore. And now here on the top we can create our header cell where we are getting column sorting and sort table. And now inside let's look what we are getting. As you can see we got quite a lot and even more than we wanted. I am hitting here tab and let's change this code. So th here is totally fine, user table header cell is not a valid class, it should be user table cell. And here we are getting on click, handle click, this is exactly what we wanted. And actually this logic is not correct because we want to render an additional icon. So here after our column, as you can see we are getting again autocomplete for sort arrow component. We won't build that here, we just want to write here is descending sorting. Then here we are rendering span with this icon and actually this is totally fine. Or we can just use icon like I did previously. And additional to that we are getting is ascending sorting and here copilot guessed correctly the icon that I want to use. Now here on the top this direction is not correct but we need to create here is descending sorting and here is correct autocomplete. 
13 column equal column and 13 direction equal descending. And as you can see again autocomplete from copilot where getting is ascending 13 is correct. But additionally to that, inside our handle click, we want to create new sorting. Column is totally fine, but here direction is not fine. Here what we want to write is is descending sorting, ascending or descending. This is exactly correct code, just directly from copilot. Let's check if our code is working at all. As you can see, no errors here. And here inside browser, I can just click and resort our table. It is resorted, but we didn't refetch our data from the API. We must do this now. So in the bottom here, as you can see, we are getting use effect and we just need to provide here our sorting as a dependency. And here inside our fetch, I will change the URL put here a question mark and we are getting completely correct autocomplete because copilot understood that I am using as an API JSON server. This is why here we are getting sort in certain column and daughter sort in direction. As you can see in browser, now it is completely resorted and we are refetching data from the API. And the last thing that we want to implement is search bar. This is why here let's create new state for search value. And here again autocomplete and we have an empty state. And here we want a new function, for example, search table. And here we are not getting event, but new search value, again autocomplete. And inside what we are getting is set search value. This is completely correct. Thank you, Copilot. Now here inside our markup before our table, we can just render our new component search bar and we are providing inside search table function. Now here let's create this component, so just const search bar. Here we are getting as a prop search table and let's look what we are getting inside. As you can see here, Copilot suggests for us inside search bar to create handle change and return. This is not exactly what I want. This is why I will try to start create state and maybe Copilot understands it better. So as you can see here, I started typing and Copilot directly, even before search value, understood that I want to create a state with search value and here is handle change and it is much better. So this is our code. Now we just need to change it a little bit. First of all, we don't want to search table. When we are changing an input, we just need to remove it. Additionally to that, we need here a form. And here we must use on submit, but I want to create here another function, for example, submit form. And let's close form here. And here we must define our submit form, where we're getting inside an event, and we just use event prevent default, and we're using search table. This is exactly what we wanted. So we're getting an inner state inside our search bar, and here we're just changing it every single time when we're typing inside an input. But additionally to that, when our form is submitted, then we directly search our table. Let's check if we have any errors. No errors here. Let's reload the page. And now we have our search and we can type something. But nothing is working because we didn't update our use effect. So here on the bottom, we must add it inside our fetch. So here directly, as you can see, we are getting autocomplete and query equals search value. And actually this is not correct. Here we must use name underscore like. And additionally to that, we must add our search value inside dependency array. So let's check in browser. I'm typing here Jack and we directly filtered our table. As you can see with copilot suggestions, it is much easier and faster to write your code. And actually, if you are interested to know five different ways to use ChatGPT right now, make sure to check this video also.